Previously, we've learned that we can use inverse operations to solve one and two step equations. And we used both hanger diagrams and tape diagrams to model this concept. Today, we are going to learn how to solve real world problems by writing and solving multi step equations with a variable to represent an unknown value. Let's look at our first problem. Lynn had 90 flyers to hang around the school. After giving the same number of flyers to each of three volunteers, she had 12 left to hang up by herself. How many flyers did Lynn give to each volunteer? Well, in this problem, I noticed that Lynn had a total of 90 flyers and that she gave the same number to three volunteers, but she had 12 left to hang up herself. If I need to figure out how many she gave to each volunteer, I can represent this using a tape diagram. I know that Lynn gave each volunteer the same number of flyers, but I don't know how many flyers that was. But since there were three of them, I'm going to break my bar diagram into three pieces to show the three groups of flyers that she gave away. Since I don't know what number that was, I'm going to use a variable x to represent that. I also know that Lynn had 12 remaining to hang up herself, so I'm going to put another section in my bar diagram to represent the 12 that Lynn had. Since we know that she had a total of 90 flyers, I'm going to use brackets to show that this entire thing is equal to 90 flyers. Well, when I look at my tape diagram, I see that I have three X's and one 12. These combine to make a total of 90. I can use this to write an equation. My equation will say three X plus 12 equals 90. Now I can solve my using my tape diagram and my equation. I notice that I have a 12 with my variables in my tape diagram. Well, if I need to solve for each variable, then I need to have my variables by themselves. So I'm going to take 12 away from my tape diagram. Well, if I take that away, then I need to figure out what I'm left with for x. So I need to take 12 away from 90 as well. When I subtract 90 minus 12, I get 78. That means that these three X's together are going to equal 78. Well, I can show this on my equation by subtracting 12 from both sides. On the left side of my equation, I see an additive inverse of 12 and negative 12. So these will cancel which to leave me with 3x equals, and on the right side of my equation, I'm going to subtract 90 minus 12, which is 78. Well, this is the same thing that I have in my tape diagram because I now have three x's that equal 78. Since each of these x's is the same amount, and there are three of them, to figure out what each is equal to, I am going to divide 78 by three, and that's going to give me a quotient of 26. I can show this in my equation by dividing by three on both sides of my equation. My threes will cancel to leave me with x equals, and 78 divided by three is 26. So, my solution is x equals 26, but let's look at what that means in terms of our problem. The question asked how many flyers did Lynn give to each volunteer? Well, I found that the value of each of these is 26, so this means that Lynn gave each volunteer 26 flyers. Now let's look at our second problem. This says a family of five is going to the fall festival. They have a coupon that takes $2.50 off each of their tickets. If the family spends a total of $30, what is the price of a ticket before the coupon? 
Well, in this problem, I can see that there are five tickets being purchased. So I know that there are five tickets. I also see that the family spent money on tickets, but each one of those had $2.50 taken off which means that the price of each ticket was reduced. And I see that the family spent a total of $30. Now let's see if we can figure out how to make an equation and a tape diagram out of this information. Since I don't know the cost of the ticket, I am going to represent the cost of a ticket with a variable, x. I also know that a coupon was used on each ticket, which means that the cost of each of those five tickets decreased $2.50. This means that I will need to subtract $2.50 from the cost of each ticket. Now I can see that each ticket cost X minus $2.50. I can represent this on a tape diagram by drawing a bar that is split into five equal sections since there are five tickets that were purchased. Each of the five tickets, rep each of the five pieces represents the cost of one ticket. So I'm going to write X minus 250 in each of these pieces to represent each ticket. I also know that the total cost of the tickets was $30, so I'm going to show this using brackets to show that the whole bar is worth $30. Now I'm going to use this to make an equation. From my tape diagram, I notice that I have five sections that have the same value. I can show this in an equation by multiplying five by the cost of each ticket, which is x minus 250. Then I can show that this value is equal to a total of $30. Now let's solve. From my tape diagram, I can see that each box represents the cost of one ticket. So to, to determine the cost of one ticket, I need to, to determine what the value of each box is. Since all of the boxes are equal and there are five boxes, I can divide them into five equal pieces, which means that I will also divide 30 by five. When I divide 30 by five, I'm going to get six. This means that each of these boxes is $6 or that the family spent $6 on each ticket. I can show this in my equation by dividing both sides of my equation by five. On the left side, my fives will cancel to leave me with X minus 250. And on the right side, I'm going to divide 30 by five, which is going to give me six. On my tape diagram, I can see that each of these boxes is six. So to figure out the cost of just one ticket, I need to figure out what the cost of just one X is equal to. So I am going to use one of these and figure out what X is equal to by doing the inverse of subtracting $2.50. Well, the inverse of that is adding $2.50. And when I add six plus 250, I am going to get $8.50. I can show this on my equation by adding 250 on both sides. Negative 250 and positive 250 are additive inverses, so they combine to make zero, which means I am left with x equals, and on the right side, I have six plus 250, which gives me a total of 850. Well, I need to know what this means in terms of my problem. I know that the family spent $6 on each ticket, but the question asked what was the price of the ticket before the coupon? Well, we found that by finding the value of X. 
since X equals 850, then the cost for each ticket for the fall festival is 850 before the family uses their coupon. 